It was a symbol of the 1960s counterculture, the VW microbus. As a writer for Popular Mechanics wrote, the hippie movement fell in love with the bus for a few reasons. It was cheap to maintain, easy to work on, and big enough to live in. A pair of former special education teachers also found the hippie bus big enough to run their mobile coffee and tea shop out of. Alex Corradetti takes us to Slinger, where beans meet dreams and inclusion never tasted so good. And action. Sippy <laughs> hippie. Sippy hippie. Sippy hippie. For many, it's a morning must. It's coffee, like everybody likes coffee. Tucked away inside Slinger's own Nye's Premium Meats and Sweets, you'll find Sippy Hippie. It's blowing up way faster than we expected. Our coffee is roasted in Princeton, Wisconsin. Perfect blend of convenience, flavor, and friendly smiles. I love being part of Sippy Hippie. We really want people to enjoy coming in here and hanging out. But what if I told you grabbing a cup of Joe can be even more on the go? A bird's eye view of Slinger shows a bit of mobile magic. The 1971 VW bus. I love the van. Driving around is a blast. This piece of nostalgia now bringing you a jolt of Java, fueling the dreams of two former educators, Josh Taylor and Joe Blanchard. We make a great team together. From opening Sippy Hippie was, was such a leap of faith for us. Um, both Josh and I are former special ed teachers. A lot of people thought we were absolutely crazy. A crazy concept on four wheels with a riveting name. This is Rosie, she's incredible. Let's take a look inside. She is jam packed with different features today, including a fridge, a working sink with cold and hot water, and this machine, the caffeinated core of this carefully curated caravan. <laughs> streets with Rosie certainly perks up the neighborhood. But the concept is what really serves the community, proving inclusivity and entrepreneurship go hand in hand. A big part of our mission is, is, is to employ adults with, with, with special needs. We kind of feel that through Sippy Hippie, we can help teach some of those on-the-job skills. We can help, help uh, foster and teach some of those social skills, communication skills that go along the way. Natalie Cleland works the register. I like working here because the coffee and my supporters, it's my Mr. B and Josh. I really do love them and I like it that they teach me how to count money and make my own coffee. It's a job, they get paid, but they're part of something. We really want to show the community, show Southeast Wisconsin, um, kind of the power of inclusion. Inspiring inclusion extends to their nonprofit. So the goal of Middle Ground Connections is to foster uh, community connections through social, volunteer, and employment opportunities. Joe's former students, Rachel Kenya and Rachel Helland, are proud to be a part of it. Joe and Josh have been really nice, and they seem like they help you guys, too. Oh, yeah, they help us through all of life's issues. If we have problems with a friend, or if we have like, problems with math or reading, they'll come help us in oh, just a second. Friend. Boyfriends, yeah. <laughs> well, they have a latte fun. They're full steam ahead to creating a better, more understanding world. But the big part of it was breaking down stereotypes in general. I've dealt with bullies a few times in my life. All they want is kindness with each cup. You can be nice to each other. I like to see the smiles. I, I can't even really put it into words. Like, it, it just makes me feel very loved. I truly believe that every person has their own niche in society, and sometimes we kind of need to help people find where that place is. Brewing a brighter future by caffeinating with compassion. Any individual, no matter their make or model. In Slinger, Alex Corradetti, CBS 58 News.